455, 150 at, uh, uh, sorry, 54 at 400, 150 at 800, 217 at 1,000 have been requested, which represents a significant acceleration. Well, will they go with the tempo? We've had a couple of races tonight where the athletes have chosen to pretty much ignore, ignore very ambitious pacing. But uh, Timothy Cherian, he could be the danger man. There he is in the all-black going through, slotting into third place. He's in fabulous form as the 23-year-old Kenyan. Just recently set a new personal best for 800 metres, 141.11 at altitude in uh, Nairobi. And that tells me that he's ready for something very special. He is the fastest in the world this year with 3.28. That was in Lausanne. Only a click of his lifetime best. Indeed, he's the world number one at the mile as well after that big win in 3.49 in London. So he's got everything going for him at the moment as Timothy Chariot. And the pace is quick, Chris. There's no doubt about that single file for the first six or eight very early on. Well, they've asked for uh, 54 seconds through uh, 400 metres. And we'll see it now. 53.78, it's inside that. It is very quick indeed. Chariot, who won six out of six Diamond League races last year, four out of five this year, he is... Mr. Consistency and the man to beat here, the world number one. Well, I suspect Chariot's gone through in about 54.2, 54.3. The Ingebrigtsen's recognising the danger of this race running away from them. They're leading that second pack, Philip and Jakob, uh, back in, what, seventh and eighth places at the moment, trying to close up in this leading group, which is steaming along. Up there as well is Suleiman. He's tucked in behind Timothy Chariot, who's in third place. And then uh, Tafera, the world indoor champion, who set a world record for 1,500 metres in Birmingham back in February. He's in fifth place. So they're looking really strong. And now they've begun to close up. And you only need one person in that line to start struggling. And gaps appear. And the others behind them have to recognise it very quickly to go round them and close the gap before it grows too big. Well, Chariot, always a joy to watch with that forward-leaning style as uh, one of the pacemakers drops out. So Cherry at the target here. 151.4 at 800 metres, that second lap 57.7. I knew that first lap was too quick. It was a four second quicker first lap than the second lap. That's, that's not great, it really isn't. So we're back to more sensible pacemaking, 151.5 in effect at 800. But they've done it the hard way with two very uneven laps as Chariot eases past the second pacemaker there, uh, Kiprugut and looks strong, he comes towards the bell now, he's pushing on and he's got that gap, and it's Tafera in second place, Suleiman in third, Philip Ingebrigtsen with his younger brother Jakob, shadowing him, moving up into third and fourth now, but Timothy Chariot has snatched that seven or eight metre lead, he's got such a deceptive style, he's got a long stride, looks almost flat footed, doesn't he, but he moves, he covers the ground so wonderfully, it's Tafera in second place from Chariot, Philip Ingebrigtsen in wonderful form, the 2016 European champion, 200 metres to run. Jakob Ingebrigtsen, the 18-year-old, roars past his brother, but the gap surely now to Timothy Chariot is too big. This is going to be quick. Watch the clock. Chariot and Jakob Ingebrigtsen closing fast on Chariot, who has a little glance over his shoulder there, just as well he did, because he's tearing up towards uh, Timothy Chariot. The gap's going to be too big. He's going to run out of track. Watch the time, though. This will be quick. It's going to be a click outside 3.30. And uh, Jakob Ingebrigtsen, Philip Ingebrigtsen, second and third. I think that was Tafera back in fourth.